What's up, everybody? Patrick Rouge here from Evolve Restorative Therapy, and I have a pain-free concierge service that is helping many, many people live happy, healthier lives uh, by teaching them how to do self-care for the long term. Uh, this week's video is for someone overseas dealing with some chronic pain issues. Um, I would like to say chronic pain sucks, but I always realize the same pattern happens when a person that has chronic pain goes through a flare-up. So this video is all about what to do when you have a chronic pain flare-up. So let's get the obvious out the way. Chronic pain sucks, right? What you have to realize is it's been beating on you for quite some time, so you're tired. And in this instance, your instinct is probably wrong. Where people think, oh, I have pain, let me rest, and they don't do anything, they take out everything out your day, what happens is you stop doing the things that need to be uh, done. So in this instance, healing uh, takes you actually doing something because it's happened so often that you it's easy for you to just curl, curl up in a ball, sleep, lay down, relax, don't do anything that's going to promote blood flow, promote um cellular regeneration, eat proper, all these different things that call for for you to heal. Your body's just going to go into a ah, almost falling phase, um, dormant phase, and not do anything at all, right? So what I want you to think about is this. This is an analogy that I use a lot and often. I love this analogy, actually. Think about you oh, whenever you're in an issue, whenever you're in uh, any uh, injury, uh tough situation. Think about it as a war. I'm talking about all out crazy war. And you're in the trenches and your you're bullets are flying by, grenades, things are blowing up and you're in this little hole and you're coming up and you have to shoot and things like that, right? That's what type of war I want you to think. Some Private Ryan type of stuff, right? This, this is where you have to make a decision, a thought, a choice, right? In your instance, you're in the war and you think, I need to rest, is equivalent to you laying in the hole and said, let me take a little cat nap. That won't work in this war. You have to move. You have to breathe. You have to do things. You have to be smart about the things that you do because anything could make the flare-up worse. Anything could do many different things. So you have to stay somewhat mobile and somewhat on your toes and on your feet. So when it comes down to war and chronic pain, any issue, you have to realize where you lie. There's so many people out in the world on the opposite end be, uh, are in the war and they do stuff, but what they think about is, I need to figure out why this is happening to me. And that's equally not important at that precise moment. The, the, what you need to do is stay alive, survive by doing things, by uh, strategically getting through into a safe place. That's number one. So what does that look like for chronic pain sufferers? What does that look like for you, actually? You want to think about it as, um, I need to get my nervous system to taper down. That means I need to do some breathing work. I need to do um, some easy, easy walking. I need to do something that's going to make myself happy and feel safe. That's the name of the game um, for anyone in chronic pain. Is That's the first step, is you have to find a way where you can feel safe and happy. So, it might be a walk. It might be, hang for me, it's hanging out with my family, hanging out with kids, ha uh, like, chilling out. Like, right now, I'm on my porch, like, just chilling because I just dropped the kids off, right? Um, I love this stuff, so this makes me happy. Sitting out in the sun, my wife loves the beach, loves the pool, getting her out there. That's what makes her happy. You know, resting is not just don't do anything, right? So, that's number one. Get your central nervous system to spool down so you can actually focus on what needs to happen rather than uh, ignore everything that needs to happen. Then number two is start getting some type of movement into this, the area that needs to be moved. And then we're not talking about going out for a light run. We're not talking about things like that. We're talking about just constant, easy flowing motion. So if you have shoulder pain, if you have knee pain, if you have back pain and it flares up, you want to think this much movement in the exact area this much movement. I'm talking about very, very little, minuscule movement. And it might look like if you have a neck pain, it might look like, oh, right there, I can feel this area of my body opening up. So now you got your central nervous system dropping down and you have yourself focusing on that specific area. Central nervous system drop down and then you focus on that specific area and asking it, 
to open. So those are the two things that you desperately need to do to um, start your process of healing and getting yourself your flare up to calm down and eventually go away. Those are the two things. Um, what what naturally happens is you want to clam shut. You want to close yourself off. And that's the exact opposite of getting things to open. You need everything to open and be more fluid. By resting, by nature, by resting, you will curl up into a fetal position because that's where your body feels safer. But by instinct, that will harm you for the long haul. So yeah, you'll feel better in your little blanket, like curling up into a little ball, but that's not helping you eliminate this pain for the long term. It's two different things, right? That's the big thing that I want you to start recognizing is you want to stop these things, these flare-ups happening forever. That means you have to deal with what's happening. You have to focus on it. It has to be strategic. It has to be smart. And it needs to be safe. That's the key here. It needs to be absolutely, utterly safe. Um, so those are the two things I want you to do. One, get yourself breathing. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And we're not talking about 10 easy breaths. We're not talking about that whatsoever. We're talking about some actual consistent, maybe it might take you four or five minutes of actually whew, sitting down and just chillaxing. It might take you that long. So many people are not patient in, in this place because you're in pain. But patience is key here. Okay? So, get yourself a central nervous system to go down. It might not be breathing. It might just be taking a walk. You live on a farm, dude. It might be on that tractor. It might be doing something. It might be riding something. It might be doing something that you love. You have to love this. Right? That's number one. Number two, let's get you moving the areas. And we're talking about minuscule movements in that area that works. And then that might take some time as well. So, Take your time with this. Be easy. It's not going anywhere. So breathe. Help it along its way. Coax it out. Coax it out. So if anyone has any chronic pain, please tell me. How do these two things help you? Write it down below. Tell me what's going on. And guys, thank you very much. See you later.